Wayne at RealFixesRealFast.com. Today we're working on an 01 Yukon Denali with a 6.0 engine. It came in with a complaint of running bad at idle. Once you got off idle it would seem to alright, but every now and then at idle it would run bad or, and or stall. We did a CAT scan, that's computer assisted troubleshooting, and we retrieved the codes P0171 and P0174, which indicates that it's lean on both banks of the engine. Now as you think about a problem like this, you begin to wonder what could affect both sides of the engine. Obviously a fuel filter could if it was starving for fuel. But she said last week she had taken it into another shop and they were trying to diagnose this problem and they had put in a brand new fuel filter a week ago. So we're going to assume that that's good. Assuming that the fuel filter is good, we still need to verify fuel pressure. We did a fuel pressure check and the spec is 55 PSI. We're actually reading 52. Now I'm going to take that as good now because there is always a variance of a few pounds between your gauges and your instruments. So I'm going to consider that the fuel delivery is not the cause here of the both banks being lean. Another thing that could cause both sides of the engine to be lean could be a dirty or a malfunctioning mass airflow sensor. So we took this one out and when you look on the inside you can see that the elements don't look too bad. They don't look distorted, fuzzy, or extremely dirty. We did clean them with a design mass airflow sensor cleaner. So at this point I'm not really suspecting the fuel delivery and I'm not suspecting the mass airflow to be bad. So the next thing is some type of unmetered air sneaking into the system. So what we want to do is see if there is any unmetered air sneaking in. The best way to do that is to smoke the engine and see if there's actually smoke escaping because then it would be taking the air in at the same place. So here's how we smoke this engine. We're just using an old-fashioned vacuum tech. There are a lot of different smoke machines out there. You can use whichever you have. Now you need to be able to hook your smoke machine up to some type of a vacuum input. Here probably the easiest place is the fuel pressure regulator. Here's the fuel pressure regulator. I'm simply going to take the vacuum line off of that and I'm just going to use that as my source for the smoke to be able to enter the intake. Now it's going to go right in directly into the intake. Now our smoke machine actually just has a remote button that you push and it starts making the smoke. You need to be able to close off all the places where the smoke could escape. One is the breather. We like to just use a plastic hand glove for a couple reasons. One, it does seal it, but also it'll pump up so that you can tell that you're actually putting pressure into the system. Now we just let the smoke machine run and start looking for it. Now we're down to where the intake, the valve cover and the intake come together down here and you can see the smoke escaping. What I like to do is blow it away and then watch for it to come back. Now you may have to let your smoke machine run for a few minutes in order to fill the whole system with smoke but once it does it'll start smoking where it's leaking. If you blow it away and the smoke keeps coming back at the same place after a while you'll be able to zero in on exactly where it's coming from. It's hard to pinpoint on this video but it's coming right where the intake bolts down to the head. We tried to tighten these bolts down right here to see if that would have an effect but it didn't. So we're actually going to have to take the intake off and change the lower intake gasket. Okay, we've got the uh, intake taken off now. This is how deep you have to go down. This is the area where it was leaking. Now we've got the intake off on the ground. And this is the area right here where that gasket is just flattened out. Now we'll take the old gasket out, but before we do, we'll, there's the new gasket. And if you look at this, right here there's a nice little ridge. And that ridge just gets flattened out and that's why it leaks. If you compare the old gasket, let me turn that one open. You can see how flattened that out it is compared to the new gasket. So in this case we found our evidence. At idle the throttle plate is closed, 
so the vacuum is strongest under the engine and in the intake that's where it's going to be actually sucking air so you know we need to look for the evidence to find the problem we had codes lean on both banks we had a description of a problem that indicated that it was lean in other words at idle it would run bad but not off idle and sometimes it would stall that's usually typical of some type of air leaking into the system the mass airflow was good fuel pressure was good we smoked the engine we can see more evidence the smoke is leaking out between the intake and the head so all the evidence has led us to the problem which is the lower intake is leaking